All right, hey guys, what's up? Nick here once again. We're gonna be unboxing the new Google Pixel 3 XL here on camera and a full overview of that. And then I will have a full video review of my phone here in about three to four weeks. I like to get a full month of use out of the phone as my, as my main device, just so I can get a full feel for it before I make a review for you guys. And then as you can see, we have kind of a plethora of Google devices around it. So I did get two Google Home Minis as well as the Google Home Hub which I will be unboxing in a separate video after this one. So stay tuned for that. Subscribe if you haven't already so you don't miss it. That'll be up later today. So let's move all of these out of the way because we're gonna just be doing the phone for this video. So going around the box, nothing too insanely crazy. It's pretty minimal, like Google has been known to kinda been doing these last few years. You got hashtag Team Pixel, probably trending and all that fun stuff. And yeah, so that's it for the box. So let's cut these tabs here, which actually we don't have to cut them. They're a little tiny uh, pull tabs, so. Pull that one off, and I think there's one more on this side, yep. Pull that one, and I think that's it. So, should slide right off, and there it is, nothing else underneath. And we got the phone under there. I got the black version, which I don't know if they, they have weird names for these phones. I think this is the Just Black, yeah, Just Black. So, we'll pull that out here, and there it is. So, got the device with a little wrapping around it. So, in the hand, it's actually, not as heavy as I expected, so it's a, it's a little bit lighter than I expected, but it does feel pretty nice. We'll come back to the phone in a second. Let's get to the accessories. So I'll take that little thing off. We got, looks like the manuals and the SIM card tool. So yeah, we got the SIM card removal tool. And we got, let's get started. We got some Team Pixel stickers, that's kind of cool. And quick start guide, all that fun stuff that no one really looks at except for the first time they look at the phone. So let's put that away. And then we got some headphones. Ooh, that's new. So it does include headphones in the box. Not wireless, but they are USB-C because sadly, no headphone jack. A little bit disappointed in Google for doing that, but you know, it, I guess it's the way of the future. Everything's going wireless, but they do give you some USB-C headphones out of the box, which is pretty cool. And we'll, we'll test those out later and we'll see if they're pretty good. Looks like they do have music controls as well, which is pretty cool. Moving on, we actually have a lot of adapters in here. So they do give you the dongle for the USB-C to 3.5 millimeter headphone jack. So that is included in the box for free. So this is not a special edition or anything. So that's pretty awesome, they do give you that. Um, we also do get another adapter here. This looks like a, yeah, we do have a USB-C to regular USB 3.0. So that's pretty awesome. I like that. So it's a lot easier for transferring files and you can use it for other devices. So very cool, that, that is included for free in the box, thanks Google. And moving on, we do have a USB-C to USB-C cable. So I'm not a huge fan of these kind of cables. I wish they included just a USB-C to USB 3.0 in the box. It's kind of a shame that they give you the these two, but eh, not the end of the world. It's a little bit short as well, not as long as I like it to be. That's what she said. But without further ado, the last part here, the little charging brick, which is USB-C. So it does not take 3.0, sadly. Uh, not the end of the world, but it does include quick charging, so that is nice on like Apple. So yeah, that's all the accessories in the box. That is all the goodies. So let's put all this back in there for right now, since we're not really going to be touching any of this. All right, and let's get to the main attraction here, the phone itself. So let's peel off the sticker. Ah, beautiful. I always love that. So on the front here, we do have that beautiful 6.3 inch AMOLED display. I can already see the dreaded notch up there, which I'm a little bit nervous about getting into. But from what I've heard, after about a day or so of usage with the phone, you do get used to the notch. And there are some software tweaks to turn it off if I so please. So I'm not going to think it's going to be a big issue over time, but it is kind of a bummer that it's still there. And then we got the back here, which is that dual coating like we've Come to know and love with the Pixel series. Now, this is a frosted glass, so it's still glass on the back and it's glass on top, but it's more of like a matte finish. At least it feels that way, but it's still glass. So it's kind of cool. It's very textured. Um, it's not super grippy, but I like that it does not have fingerprints. So it doesn't really attract fingerprints like it would if it was the top glass there. So that is cool. And then we also do have the fingerprint scanner, as you can see in the middle here. And then we do have that single camera lens, which is very rare. Nowadays in 2018, everybody's going from two all the way up to five camera lenses, which is crazy. 
but it's kind of cool that Google is kind of going against the norm and saying we only need one lens to make amazing pictures and then we do have the flash next to it. It is optically stabilized as well, so I'm really excited to get into the camera and to test that out for the future review. Other than that, uh, going to the right here, we just have the power switch and the volume rocker. Um, nothing too crazy there. Pretty clicky. I do like that, it's pretty clicky. That's a nice feeling to that. Um, nothing on the other side. And then on the bottom here, we do have the USB-C port and a microphone, no headphone jack, sadly, again. Uh, no speaker as well because both speakers are on the front. We have a bottom firing speaker and a top firing speaker next to the dual front facing camera. So you do have that really wide angle front facing camera that I'll, again we'll get into later. Uh, again, nothing on the right side of the phone, which is really weird. Um, it's just weird not having anything on one side of the phone, but it's kind of also very cool and it makes it feel very sleek. And then on the top, nothing but the SIM card tray. So. We're gonna turn this on, we're gonna get it set up, and we'll be back in a second here. All right, so I got everything set up on the Pixel 3 here, and I got my case on it as well, uh, which is by Spigen, or Spigen, I don't really know how exactly you say that, and I got my pop socket on there as well. I, I've always just really liked a rugged case. It doesn't add much bulk to it, it's not like a otter box or anything like that, nothing crazy, but it's enough to protect it if it were to fall on its face, so. I like having a nice case and Spigen's a really good brand for that. Not sponsored or anything, just check them out if you haven't already. So opening up the phone here, we do have that back fingerprint scanner, which by the way, do you see how fast that worked? Like it's it's almost instant. It's ridiculously how fast. It's crazy how fast that is, honestly. So very impressed by the fingerprint scanner speed. And stop talking about speed, I mean, off the bat, this is an extremely fluid device. Like. I haven't had any issues yet with it lagging or having an apps crash or anything like that. I got a lot of apps running right now, as you can see. And I know I heard rumors or from other reviewers that they were having issues where like if you're in an app like music and you're playing music and you go into the camera app and start taking pictures, it shuts it off. I can assure you that has been fixed. I haven't, I didn't have that issue. So that might have been just a weird software glitch that they finally fixed uh, with like the review units before the actual version came out for the mass market. But yeah, as of today, October 30th, that has been fixed. So just so you're aware of that. Now, this isn't a full review, so I'm not gonna get into too much right now. I just wanna let you guys know that it's very fluid. The display is very nice. I will admit, I actually kind of forgot about the notch after about an hour of use with this. So by the way, this is about an hour and a half later. But uh, yeah, the, the notch really hasn't been that big of a deal. I'm very pleasantly surprised to say that, but I'm also very happy to say that. So. If you're worried about not getting this phone because of that notch, I can assure you, you'll get, you'll, honestly, it'll disappear within an hour of use. If it doesn't, I mean, maybe you're just a very picky person, but personally, I'm very picky with my devices, and this is a big reason I wasn't gonna get this phone, but after having it and using it in the hand for a few hours here, it, it changed my mind. So, yeah, definitely check out the Pixel 3. I'm loving it so far. Full review will be up in about a month, guys. Hope you enjoy it. And again, stay tuned for the unboxing for the Google Home uh, Hub and the two Google Mini speakers that'll be up in the channel in a few hours. So hope you stay tuned for that, and we'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.